Hello YouTube, Jose Carlos back with another video for JPAT TV and I want to thank you guys for the support you have been giving to the channel we really appreciate it so as you can see here today we have a 90 right here and uh, today we're going to be using another type of material we are going to be using Armaflex sheet it's a different process from you know fiberglass or, or other types of materials because this is a flat sheet but I will show you how to cut it how to measure everything and we're going to make this whole 90 in two pieces and the tools that we're using for today's video, it's a measuring tape, something to write with, file knives, make sure they don't uh, have any teeth. Uh, it's pretty, pretty much knives that you can sharpen with, with the file stone. Uh, you can use either size that you want. I just have two different sizes here. A filing stone. A pair of dividers, and a square. So first thing we're going to do is uh, measure around the 90 to see how long our piece is going to be. So what I do here is that I recommend you cutting like a small uh, strip of Armaflex sheet. I usually cut like a piece around uh, one inch thick. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the 90, try not to stretch it so much, and then from here you can mark it with your marker, and then this will be our measurement for the 90. So after you measure around the 90, you're going to measure whatever the the mark is so right here is going to be where we marked it was 25 so 25 inches will be to go around the 90 now with another strip of armaflex you're going to try to get the measurement of the throat which will be the inside from end to end of the 90 so what I would do is I will mark That's pretty much the measurement of our throat. And once you measure the throat, you're gonna uh, measure again to the mark. So from the edge to the mark, it was 14 inches. So it is 14 inches on the throat. Now with a piece of uh, Armaflex, we're gonna do the same thing with the shoulder. And uh, we're gonna grab from one end of the 90, we're gonna stretch the Armaflex in the middle of the 90 all the way across to the other side and you can mark it here so you can get your, your measurement for the shoulder. So now that we measure the shoulder we get the measurement to the mark that we did and it shows 25 inches. So it's 25 inches for the shoulder of the 90. So the first thing we're gonna do now that you have your measurements uh, you're gonna draw a square on somewhere on the uh, Armaflex sheet Okay, now that you did your square, uh, as you can see right here, we have the measurements that we took from our 90. So to go around the 90, it's 25 inches, uh, 14 inches for the throat, and then uh, 25 for the shoulder, so the back of the 90. So we're going to start off with, uh, with the throat. So half, we're going to do half of 14 inches, which is 7 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an inch for the for the thickness of the uh, Armaflex so I will have my divider up to 8 inches now that we have our dividers open to the measurement we're gonna draw a quarter circle next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a 45 degree line across the square so if you have a square that has a 45 degree angle, you can use it drawing that. On this case, we're going to use our, our dividers, which I will show you how to get your 45 degree. So in order to get the 45 degree line, you're going to, from one end of the circle where, the, where it meets the line, you're going to draw one line on, each, on one side, you're going to draw a line on the other side where they both meet, 
that'll be your 45 degree line. So after we have our 45 degree line, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna cut half of the of the 90 piece. So since we're gonna do it in two pieces, it takes us 25 inches around the the 90, so we're gonna cut it in half, which it should be 12 and a half. So two pieces of 12 and a half should will give us 25 inches around for our 90. So in order to do that, we're gonna measure 12 and a half from the end of the circle along the 45 inch line, and we're gonna mark it. Now that we have our measurement and our markings, following along the line of the circle using our tape measure, or the end of our tape measure, we're gonna draw it all the way around from one end all the way to the other end of the square. Now hopefully you can see on the, on the video, here's our line. So this is the outside of our 90, and this is the inside of the 90. So next step, from our line of our 45, we're going to divide this 25 inch from the shoulder. We're going to divide it in half, so we're going to measure 12 and a half to one end and 12 and a half to the other end, and we're going to mark it. Okay, so next step, once we have our markings, we're gonna use our square and we're gonna draw a line from the end of the circle where it meets our square to the new marking that we just made. And we're gonna do it on both ends. So this is half of our 90 already and all we gotta do is cut it out. So now that we gotta cut our piece of Armaflex, make sure that your knife is really sharp. Make sure you use your file uh, stone to sharpen it as much as you can because you're gonna try to cut it in one motion all the way around. So here is half of our 90. Now that we have half of our 90, next thing we're gonna do is on another sheet of Armaflex or on another side of the sheet, you're gonna trace the other half to get our second piece. So now we cut it out. One thing I forgot to mention, it's uh, when you're cutting your armor flex, make sure that your knife is straight down. So you have to put a little bit of pressure with, the, with your wrist to make sure your knife doesn't lean one side, one way or the other. Because if not, your armor flex piece is gonna be leaning, so you're gonna have gaps. And it's gonna be kind of tough to glue it together. So make sure they're as straight as possible when you're cutting down. So for the next step, we're gonna use the 520 Armafix glue. So this is the uh, specialty glue that we use for this type of material. So we're gonna put glue on both of our pieces for our throat, and then we're gonna glue them together. Now you gotta wait about 30 to 45 seconds let the, the glue dry a little bit, and then we can glue them together. Once you feel that the glue is a little bit sticky, now you, you're able to glue both pieces together.
Okay, so now you can see that our throat, it's already perfectly sealed. Make sure that there's no gaps. Make sure that all your armor flicks, it's stuck together with the glue. Now you can see that we have our pieces here together. Uh, as you can see, it kind of looks like a butterfly. Uh, when you see them together, you should have the, the curve right here for the throat already. So now we're ready to glue it to our 90. But before we stick our pieces to our 90, we need to make sure that we put glue on both edges of our shoulder pieces. That way we can, once we put them on our 90, we can just stick them together. So remember to let the glue air out for maybe 45 seconds. Once it feels tacky, then you should be able to go and put it on your 90. Now we're ready to put it into our 90. So just make sure that both of your pieces are right in the middle of your 90, and then you're gonna glue them together. So here we have our ArmorFlex 90. Uh, one thing I want to say, it's uh, with ArmorFlex, you got to be really patient with the glue. Sometimes people are not very patient with it and they try to stick the pieces together too early and then maybe like 30 minutes later or an hour later that the pieces already came undone. So you got to be patient with it, you got to put the glue on it. You got to wait maybe about 45 seconds to a minute and kind of like you can feel it. Once it feels a little bit tacky, then it's ready to get glue. Also make sure you don't leave it out for too long because then it dries up and then it just won't stick. Also one more thing I wanted to add, if you have any questions about any of the tools that I use on this video or any of our videos, we will have the links in the description. All the links should be on every video that we make. So if you have any questions about one model of knives or, or dividers or everything, it's all explained on our tools videos. We have two videos, both English and Spanish. We have basic tools and then we have mechanical tools. So please make sure you go back to those videos uh, for any reference on our tools. If you enjoyed today's video or you learned something here today, please don't forget to give us a like. Also, any comments you have, leave them in the comment section below. I will try to answer that as soon as possible. And please don't forget to share with anybody that might need help. And also, please turn on your notifications so you'll know every time we post a new video on the channel. Thank you for watching. And today we have... Oh, okay, I guess we can transition. Oh. Okay, so... Um, but before you... Would, uh, but before... Uh, but before we put the pieces for the 90... No, before we put these pieces on the 90... But we put the... Uh, but we, but, uh, <laughs> why? Porque me estoy trabajando. <laughs>